Hello and welcome to the video. I'm Jimmy the Mower and today we're going to be taking a look at how to change the slitting and aerating cartridge in the Cobra 40 volt scarifier and aerator. Well, this seems like a daunting task, but believe me, it's so simple. Just two little bolts on there and you can take one cartridge out and put the other one in. However, a word of warning before you start, get yourself some gloves. So I've got some nice thick latex padded gloves there because these things are sharp. They really are sharp and they will stick in your fingers. So just be on the safe side, get yourself some gloves. I know it's not the easiest thing to work in, but it does make it safe. Now, secondly, the only tool you'll need is an Allen key and very nice a Cobra themselves. They've put the Allen key on the handle. There's a little clip on there. When you assemble it, you probably won't even notice it because I didn't. And then I start working with the machine or was trying to look at the machine and all of a sudden you find the Allen key tucked away on the handle in a nice little holder. So that's a great start, isn't it? Now, what we have to do is tip this machine onto its back so we can see underneath and then we can have a look at which cartridge we'll put in first. Now, I'm not sure which cartridge you'll get inserted when you purchase the machine yourself, but mine came mail order. And when it arrived, I had the slitter cartridge installed underneath, right? So it depends which one you want to do first. Now, I'm always a fan of getting some aeration into the soil, really, getting some, um, letting the air get down to the roots. So the slitting cartridge is always a good place to start. So if you've used that one, you've gone up and down, you've put some slits in there, you've let the air get through, improve the drainage as you do, that's how it works. You can then take this one out. Now, it's quite simple to do. You have to undo these two little bolts with the Allen key that's provided. The bolts fit through the end in here. And when you take those out, they'll just fit into the scarifying cartridge in there. So you can't get them the wrong way round because they only fit one end. On the other end is a square drive. Now this square drive here is quite large and that fits snugly into there, a nice solid metal fitting. And that is the drive from the motor. So the motor will drive this end and there's a nice bearing, as you can see that's spinning round. There's a nice bearing in this end which allows it to spin on that on that end, so that's how it works. Driven this end and just spins that end with a bearing, right? So that's as easy as that. Now, I'll show you first how to put this one in because we'll just have a look at that and how easy it is to fit that back in there and we'll just tighten those up. And then once I've done this one, I'll take this one out again and I'll put this one back in because I really need to go and get some slits cut into my lawn because we've had so much rain lately. After such a dry summer, the rain's come down and everywhere is saturated. And before I can scarify and relieve all that compacted layer, I need to slit it first and just let it breathe a little bit and let the water drain through. So we'll change it round. We'll put this one in first. Okay. Oh, sorry. No, we'll put this one in first and then I'll change them round. Now, as you can see, I've turned the machine on its side. That's the beauty of these battery machines. Line them on the back, their side, their front, whichever way you want, just to get better access to it. There's no fuel in there to worry about. Just make sure the battery's out before you start. You don't want to accidentally fire it up midway through. Now, as we said, we've got the square drive on the end here, and that simply just fits into the square drive socket there. That's that. And then this fits into the top. Now. That fits in there securely. Now, what I'll show you is on this one, there are two ways of which this fits, all right? And what we do is we put this completely flat side there, completely flat, we put that into the machine. So we're putting the bolts in this little bit here. And with the bolts in there, they're sort of shrouded, they've got a shoulder either side, shrouded and they're sort of kept um, protected really uh, and out of the way. So that's how we fit it like that. Now, sorry about, there's not much light is there to get in on this, but I will take a close up photograph of it so you can see, but it, it is so easy. It, it, it surprised me how easy it was. I just got to twist that one bolt in there a little bit just to hold it. So you can see, I don't know if you can see that, pick it up on there. And then what we'll do is we get the second one and we just put these in here. Put the second one in. 
So that's that in, and then once the second one's in over there, that might be a bit difficult for you to see. I'll just tighten that up, and then just tighten it up, and that's it. And then once these are in, you just keep turning it round and round and round. There's a long thread on there, so that's it. Just get them up. There's no need for any mechanical impact driver or impact wrench. You just turn those round so they're in finger tight, but remember, once you've done this one and you tighten that up like that, go back to this first one and tighten that one up again, right? Because as you pull them in, they'll go in slightly unevenly. So you just tighten the one up, tighten the other up, and that's it. And they're both tight and that's it, fitted. And then you can turn this round by hand because it's an electric motor again. And that's it, and it fits, and there shouldn't be very little play in there up and down there's, there's none at all really and it just turns around and that is your scarifying cartridge fitted and don't worry you can't get it the wrong way around because there's only one way it can go in it's as easy as that well after putting this one in i need to take it out again now don't i because i need to go and put some slits in my lawn so i'm just going to undo these again it just shows you how easy it is and do you know what it is best practice if i was you that when you've used the machine, you can clean these down. And if you can take these out and clean them down each and every time you use it, that would be great. And it would help prolong the life of the machine. It really, really would. Now, the only thing to be wary of is when you're undoing these, there is a long thread and they just keep going and going and going. And you think it'll never be undone, but I think that one is loose. So when the first one's more or less out, turn the second one but just be careful that this doesn't fall forward it shouldn't do it shouldn't do because it's locked inside in the square drive but and it doesn't oh and there's the bolts and that fell out luckily on the workbench so we've got that one that's no problem now we'll just take that out of there move that cartridge out of the way they do provide you with a nice cardboard tube to put them in so they don't get damaged, right? So slots into there, which is a great little handy tool. So keep hold of that if you can, because it's a great little place to store your spare cartridge. Now I'm gonna put this one in. So again, this one's a little bit heavier. There's a lot of metal in this one. We'll put that in there. And just remember to get the shouldered bits at the front. And then you'll see how easy this is to go together. Oh, it spun it round then. It's not as easy as the other one, is it? I thought we'd fly through this after doing it once. Oh, that's why. I pushed the bolt in too far, see? Without paying attention, even the simplest of tasks can become complicated that's it that's in i pushed it in well that stops you misaligning it it can only align up in one place and with that bolt pushed in first like i did it wouldn't line up so there was no way that you'll be able to start this up and it'd be unbalanced it can only go in one place so learn from my mistakes <laughs> then we put this in and again there's no way we can put these in black backwards the blades are hooked around facing that way and there's the square drive at the bottom and the bolts at the top so it can only go in one way that's tight on there we'll just do this one on here oh, that's nice and tight and just tighten them both up again there you go job done i'll put this one in the cardboard tube so it's nice and safe and then we'll go and get to work with this one thanks for watching i hope that's uh, helped you out a little bit there if you've got anything nice to say pop it in the comment section below and the links to the videos of this being used in action and the handle being put together will all be in the description below so if you need to find out any of those things or just want to see it working just click the links in there and it'll take you straight to that video thanks again for watching i'm jimmy the mower I'll catch you on the next one.